stay tuned. Another tweet reads, Sup motherfuckers, I'm CEO of a shitty company and I'm a giant media whoring C-word. Check out my N-word Greg site, rootkit.com. Followed by tweets containing all of Bar's personal information. I'm talking his social security number, his phone number, his address, literally everything. Now for context, rootkit.com was Hoagland's website dedicated to programming tools that could invisibly gain access to a computer system. You see, after initial access was gained to Bar's server, and while the rest of the group were compiling Bar's information and trolling him over the weekend, Sabu and Kayla had been attempting to gain administrator access on the rootkit.com server. In part, they were able to accomplish this due to Bar having been an administrator of the company email system, which let the account reset the passwords of other inboxes, including Hopeland's. While inside of Hopeland's email accounts, they sent emails to one of HP Gary's admins, a Finnish security specialist, attempting to ironically gain root access to rootkit.com. I'm in Europe and need to SSH into the server, said Sabu, pretending to be Hopeland. SSH stands for Secure Shell, a way of logging into a server from a remote location. Are you on a public computer, replied the admin. No, I don't have the public IP with me at the moment because I'm ready for a small meeting and it's rough. If anything, just reset my password to change me123 and give me public IP and I'll SSH and reset my password, said Sabbath. Okay, your password is change me123, smiley face. In Europe, but not in Finland, question mark, replied the admin. If I can squeeze out the time, maybe we can catch up. I'll be in Germany for a little bit. Thanks, finished Sabbath. Though the password didn't work. He continued to email him, pretending to be Hoagland, and somehow not remembering his username, asking if it was Greg, but being reminded it was Hoagland by said admin. Social engineering success. Though looking at this from an outsider perspective, it seems incredibly obvious that this situation was one big red flag. I mean, how do you not remember your own username being your actual name? It mattered not though, they were in at every level. As soon as they had this access, they deleted everyone else's usernames and passwords, changed the page to a simple HTML reading, Greg Hoagland equals own. After that, they did the same to hpgaryfedwell.com, removing the homepage and replacing it with the anonymous logo. Though in place of the head, was a question mark and at the bottom there was a link that said quote download hp gary emails directing anyone who clicked to the torrent t flow had created in addition there was a message written by topio that read as follows this domain has 